here with Ty. Let's start with James Ham. Hey, Ty. Uh, 11 games into your NBA season, the schedule has been so compact. You've looked exhausted talking to us in these media sessions. Just how difficult it, has this been for you to transition and find your legs every single night and, and really come out and play well? I don't think that's true. I think last game, uh, I might have had – my mom called me and said I looked exhausted. Um, and I was like, Mom, I'm not exhausted. I'm just mad that we lost. <laughs> uh, I'm not – I'm not exhausted. I'm not tired. I'm a basketball player. This is what I'm born to do, and I and I love it. So I'm not exhausted by any means. I, I, my body feels good. Um, you know, obviously it's it's different playing 11 games as fast. Uh, usually in college you get 11 games in and you know a month and a half. So it is a little. It's it's just different. It's just my body's adjusting. But I don't feel exhausted by any means. Uh, I I love this. I, I want to do this my whole life. So uh, it, it's been it's been a cool transition to uh, be able to just compete, you know, basically like every night or every other night. Um, you know, I love basketball. And I love being able to get a, a chance to, you know, compete another day. So, um, you know, I wouldn't say I'm exhausted. I just say I'm, I, I am not a fan of losing. Marshall Harris. Hey, Ty <clears throat> Tyrese, um, you, you've been very uh, blunt and adamant about uh, how you felt about the team's defensive performance the last couple of games. Um, what do you think the biggest difference was tonight? And are, are you maybe in a better mood than you were talking about it before? <laughs> yeah. Hey, anytime we win, I'm going to be in a better mood talking, talking to y'all uh, that if we, if we lose, I'm going to be respectful and still go approach it the right way. But I am definitely frustrated uh, with not winning. I, you know, I think what changed it t today for us, and I don't know if you guys saw it, but I saw and felt it was just our energy level. I felt like we, we're more engaged and we played a lot harder. Uh, and guys were having fun. You see guys smiling, um, you know, really enjoying what they're doing. And I, I still think there's room to go defensively. I truly, I think today was probably my worst defensive effort, um, you know, since I got in the league personally. Uh, but, but I think Rashawn probably played his best defensive game, you know, of, of the year and, and maybe his career. He was blocking shots, you know, like, like crazy. So, you know, I, I think I, I'm happy with the way we performed. You know, I think the third quarter, the energy just from that, that you know, those first six, seven minutes, uh, the bench energy all the way to the guys on the court was awesome. So I would just say, you know, the more that, you know, guys are energetic and, and love what we're doing and, and competing, you know, every second, um, you know, I think the more fun it's going to be for us. John Cunningham. Hey, Ty. Um, what can you say about uh, De'Aaron tonight? Luke was talking about how his aggressive uh, mindset on defense kind of set the tone for you guys. And I was just curious. I mean, you haven't been around him that long. Did you – could you kind of sense that? And just what did you make from that dunk late from him? Yeah, it was, it was awesome to see D get going. Um, you know, he played played really well. I mean, he's the engine that runs this team. So, um, you know, it's awesome to, to see him, you know, play his best basketball. You know, I, I still I, I think that that dunk was 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 crazy. Um, uh, I, I don't know if my reaction is out there anywhere, but I was stuck on half court for about 30 seconds, 45 seconds. I didn't know what, what just happened. So uh, it, it was crazy. But I, I'm glad to see, you know, De'Aaron playing well. I think when, when he plays, you know, up to his ability and, and plays plays really good like that, I, I think we're a tough team to beat. So, um, you know, I'm, ha I'm, I'm happy for him and. Uh, you know, we just got to keep this, keep this stuff going. And, but I really think it starts on the defensive end. The better that we are defensively, the more we can play in transition. And, you know, De'Aaron's the fast player in the NBA. So, uh, you know, get him on transition, let him get easy buckets uh, and allow us to get easy, easy buckets. I think really can get him going. So I just think the better we are defensively, the better we are, you know, offensively. Matt George. Hey Ty, before I ask you the real question, do you mind explaining a little bit about the uh, the Sacramento underrated shirt you're wearing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm glad you asked that question. Um, you know, I tweeted out that I wanted to, you know, go to a, uh, you know, get with some small businesses and, you know, support some small businesses. And uh, the inevitable brand, inevitable brand, got me this shirt, and it, you know, has a play in the old Kings logo with, you know, Sacramento underrated. And I think it, you know, that's awesome. Uh, it was a, pick up for me and uh shout out to them and everything they do i love their i love their stuff and you know got some other stuff too so it's cool that uh they showed love and you know shout out to the people who uh shouted that the brand out and uh you know made me aware of it
Awesome. And then about tonight's game, you talked about the energy level uh, throughout this one. You, of course, haven't played a full NBA season yet. In your mind, is it difficult to comprehend maintaining that energy and bringing that on a nightly basis for such a long season? How do good teams do that? Yeah, I mean, if, if we're being as honest as possible, winning is fun, right? It's easy to bring energy and be loud and, and do all that stuff when you're winning. You know, but it, it, it gets hard when you're losing because, you know, guys just might not have the energy. It's easy to just give up. You know, we give them quick buckets early to start the game. We could have just gave up right right away there and said, well, tonight's not the night. But, um, you know, I think just it it just it follows down. You know, I think coach coach made a great point, you know, before the game is, you know, we can only control so much. We can only control, you know, what happens today, you know, with everything that's going on in our world, games getting canceled. Uh, you don't know what could happen. So, you know, we just got to control what we can today. And I, I think one of the main things you can control on an every night basis is, you know, your attitude and your energy. You you have the ability to control that. And I think that we did a really good job with that. We had fun in what we were doing. And that, that's all I ask is that. And, and I think that's all that the coaching staff is going to ask is for us to compete every night and, um, you know, have, have fun doing it. Tony Harvey. Yeah, Tarice, uh, you know, we're always asking uh, Rashawn Holmes questions about you. I mean, you guys are basically, you know, Wisconsin, Illinois state line is right there. So you guys are basically in the same area, though. But <laughs> <laughs> what, what is it like, you know, playing with this guy? I know Corey, you know, Corey Joseph, if you're a man, but the locker room presence, what is it like being in that locker room with Rashawn Holmes? Yeah, you know, I think – the awesome thing about Rashawn is from the second I got here, I think that he knew kind of what I brought to the table. You know, he's talked to me about it a lot of times. Like, man, how did you slide to 12? Like, I don't know how we got you, you know, whatever, whatever. And and it's just cool to have another guy that's excited to, you know, have me here and, and vocalize it, you know. And, um, you know, I think I think he also likes it because he knows that uh, if he comes to Sesame's ball screens, a lot of it's coming back to him a lot of the times, you know, so I can get him, get him easy twos a lot. But, um, you know, I think it is awesome to have, have Rashawn um, alongside alongside me. I, I, to be honest, I didn't watch much, you know, Kings basketball before before getting here. So, you know, to play with Rich and know, you know, he's, I have that, that energy is going to be there every night. You know, I think that's something that he does a really good job of is, you know, bringing that energy and that competitiveness on a nightly basis. And you saw tonight, you know, not giving up on a lot of plays, made a lot of huge plays defensively for us, got a lot of big rebounds, made two big free throws down the stretch. Um, you know, Rashawn, um, you know, he's a motor, he's our motor, man. He, it, when he plays like that and, and he's energetic and, and making plays on both sides of the ball, you know, I think that just, like I said, when one guy brings it, it just goes down the line. So, um, you know, kudos to Rich and, you know, I love playing with him. The last one, Jason Anderson. Hey, Ty, Luke said uh, this is probably the best one of the year uh, because of how consistent you guys were throughout. Um, do you, do you know, do, does it feel like that big of a win? And, and what does that do for you guys coming off a little bit of a rough week? Yeah, you know, I, I would probably agree. Um, you know, it would be easy for us to, you know, get smacked two games in a row and then, you know, come out and, and then they go open up on a big run and just give up. But, you know, I think we competed um uh, you know, from start to finish. I mean, I keep mentioning the energy that, that we brought tonight, and I, th I thought that was awesome. Um, but, you know, I think the awesome part is, um, you know, obviously, basketball is a game of runs, and, you know, we made ours, they made theirs, and we responded. Uh, we didn't just lay down and, and, and let that be done. So um, I, I would agree that this is, you know, probably our, our best game. You know, the Sun – I mean, uh, you know, the Pacers being, you know, one of the better teams in the in the East, and, um, you know, got a lot of, a lot of good guys and, and – um, you know, they run a they run a really good system over there. So it is a big win for us. But now we just gotta keep it going. It can't be win one, you know, have to get beat a couple times badly to to, to do this. This has got to, you know, consistency's just gotta be there for us. And um, you know, I think I think that is something that you'll see from us just, you know, guys enjoying what they're doing and uh competing on a nightly basis. So I wouldn't count on uh, you know, many blowouts like that, um, you know, as the season goes on. All right, sure.